about. The tool that we use is SEMrush, okay? Now, if you're a small business owner or you manage the Google Ads campaign for one company, uh, I would say you may wanna skip this. Although, we do have a free 14-day trial. If you click on the link, uh, you can test it out for 14 days, do some keyword research, and then cancel it. So, uh, can't hurt. But I wanna say if you are a a uh, digital marketer and you handle more than one campaign, maybe three or four or five, um, this is a really good option, especially as you wanna get into maybe doing some more than just keyword research. If you wanna start uh, tracking some search engine op optimization, uh, rankings, keyword rankings, you can really, really do a good job spying on competitors using the software. So uh, let's take you through it and hopefully you'll get some really good tips. Okay, here we are in the account. Now, what's gonna be really, really important for you is gonna be the Keyword Magic Tool. Okay, so in the Keyword Magic Tool, right here you can type in the service that you uh, are researching. Let's say we are an accountant. So, accountant, and I always love near me. So let's see. And you can change it based on your location, but we're in the United States, so. <clears throat> so right here, we're in broad match. And it's gonna show you all the different types of keywords that fit your search term. So, so you can sort by volume, and that will show you the highest searched keywords uh, throughout a 12 month period. We're not gonna really focus too much on the keyword difficulty. I'm just kind of showing you how the keyword magic tool works. So what makes this tool really powerful is this column right here, which is intent. Okay, so what it's telling you is what the customer's or the searcher's intent is when they put in a keyword like this. Um, and one of the different categories they have is transactional. So the user wants to complete an action. So near me is very transactional. Um, anyone who's searching for near me is looking for a service or a product, okay? So um, this is what we wanna go after, especially with Google Ads. Okay, so let's see what happens if we change this keyword. What if we do accounting services? Now we're gonna get a range, okay? But it's sorted out by volume. So the first one is account services. That is not really relevant, okay? Um, it's categorized as navigational. They wanna find a specific page or a site, maybe for their account. Um, accounting services, here we are. So here we have just accounting services. It's commercial. The user wants to investigate brands or services. These are people who are trying to get some more information. So it's a commercial intent. Um, again, we're at account, Xfinity, accounting service, same thing. Now here we go. Accounting services near me, transactional. The customer wants to complete a, an action or a conversion. Um, this is, again, what we wanna go after. So I'm gonna go back. I just wanna show you the differences in putting in near me versus just a broad accounting services. So if I go back to accountant near me, here are all of the variations. So you have accountant, accountants, tax accountant, Accounting jobs, that's something that you may wanna make a negative keyword. Um, tax accountants near me. So there's plural, singular, and there's all these different variations. So you will get a lot of different um, ideas here. Now, let's say you wanna explore a little bit more. You can go into related. So this will give you some more ideas on some keywords that you can bid on for your ads or it also will give you some ideas on negative keywords, which is equally as important. Let's go back to broad match. Okay, now if I click on accountant near me, so when you click on the keyword, it's gonna give you a much more detailed um, analysis of this keyword, okay? So again, here's some variations, but here are some questions that people ask, okay? So you'll see 
Um, a lot of these questions, if you click on the questions, a lot of these are really good for SEO, um, blogging, things like that. Okay, So these are the top questions that people are asking. This is a really good tool for your landing page. So we always recommend having some FAQs at the bottom, some frequently asked questions. So if you can find which, what questions people are asking the most, um, those are the ones you want to have at the bottom of your page and have a nice detailed answer for it. And then if you want to take it a step further, turn all these things into blogs because this is what people are searching for. All right. So I hope that you found this helpful. Highly recommend SEMrush for helping you plan out your campaigns and finding the right keywords and giving you some ideas for negative keywords as well.